So we're back once again in Deer Hunter 2005 for yet another Throwback Thursday hunt, and we're out here in the Black Forest right now, hunting around for record book roe deer, and in preparation for this video, I decided to actually go out and see if we could get any good ones just kind of beforehand, because then we could focus on just one species, and eventually, after a couple of hours, we had this little hunt. So we've been out here for quite some time looking for a record book roe deer, and this guy right out here... I think might be exactly what we're after. He's a guess of 68. I think before he goes anywhere, we're gonna go ahead and try to take him. That should do plenty to bring him down. And just kind of compared to the other ones we've shot, he looks to be a good bit bigger. So hopefully that's what we need to get our names in the record book for the road here. And he's got those nice like white antlers. Let's see what he scores. Actually right on that 68 mark, so Hopefully that is going to be enough for record book. There was actually another decent buck up here, and in the process of trying to figure out where it got to, we actually stumbled into that other one, which I do believe was better. But if we head somewhere off in this direction, hopefully we can figure out where the other buck was. In fact, I think that might be him right up there. Actually, it's a higher estimate. I want to say the other was 61 or 63. That's at 66, so pretty much within, I don't know exactly what the scale is on this game, but within a couple hundred yards anyway, we had two really good sized road here. And I guess with the estimates not being exact, we could have even a better one here. 65, so he's one below the estimate. The estimate's been quite accurate here on the road here so far, but two pretty good ones, and I think our best was 66, and it was actually, in fact, our first road deer that we took. So, a new PB and still another good one. And finally, a chance to fill our doe tag. We'll go ahead and take that. I want to go up and claim her, and then get back and see if that 68 road deer is big enough to make record book. Because I know our 66 was not, and really, that's not that much bigger. But they also don't get that high scoring to begin with, so... That extra little bit might be just enough to push us over the edge. And somehow she's still alive? That'll do a little better this time. I'm not sure if we rushed that shot or what happened. I guess it kind of makes sense we were trying to hurry up and get back to the lodge, but I sure didn't expect to find her on her feet still. And let's go ahead and actually claim her. And we can go back to the lodge and see if that 68 was big enough to make the record books. Evidently, it's still not big enough. I mean, that's a big looking road deer. I can't imagine they get way bigger than that, but I guess 68 is still not going to cut it. So I went and did a little bit of digging after that hunt, and it seems there is a bug that you can sometimes get where record book road deer don't show in the trophy lodge. And I think the same can be said for world record road deer. But according to the information that I was able to find, which has been accurate for the other species that we've gotten, 62 should be the requirement for a record book road deer, and after that last hunt, we should actually have three of those now. I think we've had 65, 66, and 68. So, we should actually have a record book road deer, I believe, but I thought we'd give it one last shot. We'll see if we can get one maybe that's even bigger, and then we'll go and focus on Blacktail. I don't know what this buck is still doing here. I mean, we ran to this distance. He was perfectly hidden behind that tree, and then just walked out, but it's a guess of 68. Which, if he goes much higher than that, he may well be, at least above the information that I've seen, as the requirement for a world record. But either way, I think even if it doesn't make 70, there's a good chance it's going to top our 68, which is our previous best. We'll go up here and take a look, but just kind of randomly running through the trees at this point, and it's worked quite well. His brow tines are quite big, so maybe he's got a shot. 62, actually, so he's lower end. Maybe it didn't have quite the frame size as the others. Still technically, again, according to what I saw, that would have been a record book buck, but not up there with our best couple. Maybe it's the shorter brow tine length, but I'm not sure what's keeping that guy's guess down at 54. To me, it looks bigger than the one we just shot. I think it's definitely taller. And I don't know, maybe the mass isn't quite there. He is going to run a little closer to us. we got to be careful. Don't want him to get into the water. I think we could take that. I'm actually surprised. Eh, that might have been a headshot. I was going to say I'm surprised he's going to drop, because it's tough to get those frontal drop shots, but might have just counted as brain or something. 
So that's going to be our two bucks, and I think two quite good ones. Not quite sure where we can cross, but I really am curious to see what he scores. Since we increased our presence skill, our spotting has been quite accurate. I mean, the last one was, I guess, off by six. And really, all of our guesses have been a lot closer since then. I can't see this guy going much above 60. He is just 57. I really am curious, like, what actually kept him as a lower scorer. Because I thought it looked good. But we'll go and try to fill our dough tag. And then we'll be off to Oregon. The angle is not exactly the best, but I think that will work for our final tag. Hopefully, if we kind of just put this back a bit, should take her down pretty quickly. As long as she doesn't go into the water, because we might struggle to actually go and claim her. But it is a roe deer. I think she's starting to stumble, so there's no way uh, she's going to go that far. So we ended up with a 43 pound roe deer doe. And I think we'll go back to the trophy lodge just in case somehow that particular roe deer buck would show as a record book. And yeah, I mean, to be expected. Just as playing as regular, much like the other roe deer bucks we got scoring over 62. So I don't think, unless I just have the wrong information, that we're going to get to take a record book roe deer that actually displays as record book, but they are roe deer, so it's not too big of a concern. But I think we'll actually head on to Oregon then, and see if we can do any better with the blacktail. I mean, that looks like a good blacktail buck. I think the value said 161 there. I also think he kind of knows we're here, so we're going to be pretty careful. Go ahead and get our shot off. I think that's going to be a good hit. I'll try to keep an eye on him because he's kind of far away. And we were a little lower than we probably ideally could have been. I do think he's starting to stumble. He'll probably go down way out there. And fortunately, that was enough to bring him down. I mean, that looks really, really good. 175 for that guy. I mean, surely, given what we've seen with the blacktail, they aren't as big as whitetail. And we had a 175 whitetail make record book, so I gotta think that's what we needed. We still have another buck tag and a doe tag yet, so at this point, I guess we'll kind of just wander around and see what we can find, but it's not often I say this. That went better than I thought, and I'm not sure what we're going to do after this. Now, normally, we probably wouldn't take a doe when we still have a buck tag left to fill, but... Because I am not a huge fan of this map, I think we'll just take this one. Just to kind of get us off of here a little bit sooner. And I'm kind of thinking we'll go and hunt Whitetail. And I probably should actually clarify that the reason that I'm at least pretty confident that Blacktail is going to be a record book is from the same chart that says the Road Deer uh, at 62 are record books. So assuming that that's correct, the Blacktail should be. And then of course we have our Doe, just 76 pounds. And hopefully somewhere around here is another blacktail buck. By the way, I think the world record number was 180 for blacktail, so we were close with that other one. And it wouldn't be the first time after we had that whitetail hunt a couple of weeks ago if we could get another monster running around here. And if it was just a little bit bigger, we could actually crack a world record. I hate to actually settle for a spike after taking what I believe to be a record book buck in the hunt, but it is, as you can see, well into the afternoon. And there's just been a bunch of does and fawns, so I think we'll go for that. Especially since we should be good on getting our record book. And as long as that brings him down, which I think it's going to, we should be good to move on. And I think we will go back and go after Whitetail again. Just because I want to say the last time we heard them was that hunt where we got the couple of record books. So I figure as long as we are good here, we might as well. I really would not have expected to be settling for a spike. Especially after pretty early on in this hunt, taking a 175, but maybe it makes sense. One big one and one small one spawn, but let's go back and confirm that that is in fact a record book black deal. But like I said, according to the info I have, it is. And yeah, 175, you can see just how big that is. It actually is a lot bigger in the lodge than it looked live. I guess we really only saw it broadside. The width on that and the mass is a lot more than I realized. And... I do actually remember it saying 9 point, and I didn't realize he's missing a brow tine there. That one brow tine may have been enough to catapult him up to 180, which I think would be world record, so that's kind of unfortunate. But definitely our best blacktail. And I think we might as well go ahead and switch back to Georgia and do one final whitetail hunt here and just see if we maybe can get anything special for them again. And I quite like what I'm seeing for that guy there. 152 guess. The weight actually is pretty good as well at 220. I really can't remember what record book for Whitetail is. I think it might be 170. So that guy would be 
Most likely a little bit shy. I think that's going to be a solid enough hit. He's actually running right along the fence line. And yeah, it's going to take him down. We're a little kind of high in the shoulder, but it'll do enough. And by the way, we started at 6, and we have this guy down by 6.30. Quite a welcome change from what just happened over there on Oregon. But that's a 158 scoring whitetail. I think it would be our best, if not for that one hunt where we got a 170 and I think a 190. So definitely not too bad. And again, in that hunt, we had the two big ones, so maybe there's even a better one hanging around out here waiting on us. I really don't see 187 with that guy, but that is a really promising guess. And of course, he's just walking right at us, so we'll try to make a decent frontal shot here. To me, that looks so much like the other one that we just shot. kind of think he knew what was up, so I think we better get that shot off. It looks like he's going to go down, and there's actually a couple of does right back behind us. So we should be able to go and fill that last doe tag, but I'm quite pleased with coming here to Georgia and quickly getting a couple of good-sized bucks. And with the way that the estimates are ever since we increased our presence skill, I really don't expect that 187 to be so far off that it doesn't end up reaching 170. And if it does, we should have ourselves another record book buck, just in case. I think that's a fawn, so we can't take that one. But there's something else out there, too. Looks like actually another fawn, so we'll probably have to go backwards to go and get the doe. Let's see here. It's got a good wide frame on him. 201. World record. What? Well, we're gonna have to compare, because I... I didn't think it was gonna be 180. There is a doe, by the way. Let's just go ahead and get that taken out. I am beyond shocked. This is meant to be probably the last video we do in Deer Hunter 2005, because at this point, I believe we've taken a record book of each species, even if the road is not going to show. But I really didn't think we'd end up getting a world record. That does kind of do a bit to kind of confirm in my mind that the 62 plus road should actually be a record book, because 200 was the number listed for Whitetail. And I think it was a non-typical last time, so that kind of changes things a little, but 190 was still a record book. But I do believe it lists 200 as world record, and just barely at 201, we actually got that. Let's go ahead and grab our dough, and then we're going to be right out of here and straight into the lodge. I want to see how big that deer was, because I could not see it. And apparently we actually ranked up again to Mountain Man, but that right now is not my concern. I guess I kind of can see it, because he's got super tall G2s, G3s, even G4s, and the spread credit's going to be pretty good. Outside spread's 31. What else do we have then? That's a 158. I mean, I guess I could see 40 more inches with the mass and the time length, plus a bit overall of a bigger spread. But then we have that big half rack. Somewhere on here is the 176. I guess it does make sense. Like, that is considerably smaller than our 201. I just was not at all prepared for that to make world record. That's really, really cool. Then our nod tip, that's 118. 186 was the one from last time. I mean, again, the typical is way bigger. That just caught me so off guard. That's a really cool way to wrap up D100 2005. So... I think we're going to be playing a new game next week, but that is really, really cool. We got ourselves a record book of each species. Again, the road here has a bit of a asterisk, but still. We ended up with a world record whitetail. That is really, really cool. So I think on that note, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.